You will not believe some of the things that are in this European tour coach's golf bag. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, you will not believe some of the things that are in Chris Dennis's golf coach's bag. Unbelievable stuff. Chris Dennis's golf coaches. Chris Dennis the golf coaches bag. There we go, we got there. So, we'll, I mean, we'll kick things off straight away, Chris. People want to stay right to the end, though, because there's a couple of things in here that I think maybe only you in the world have in your golf bag at all times. Yes, correct. Quite potentially. So, we'll kick things off. Big dog. Yeah. How long has this been in here? It's the G25, G425 LST. LST. It's been in about three weeks now. I swapped from the... Uh, 410 LS Tech. Yep. And uh, sound is different, definitely. Different shaft as well. I'm surprised that you've gone for this shaft. Is there any particular reason for it? Uh, the particular reason was I found it in your garage <laughs> and I fancied a change. <laughs> like all of the clubs you will see except for one. Yeah, and that one is a humdinger as well, so stay tuned for that also. I'll let you lead us off, Chris. We're going to have a little bit of a match. Yeah. We're going to have a little bit of a match here at Chris's home course, Waterfront Golf. So if you are local to Yorkshire, get yourself down here and have a look, and if you're not, just enjoy this video. Correct Amondo. Right, off. Oh. It's about to tee off, but corn beef, Keith, also as he's known as, is... Right in your firing line, yeah. up that right hand side. And Keith, knowing Keith, will not stop, he'll just carry on, but he is retiring in December, so if we'd all like to give our kind regards to Keith... Yeah, give Keith a, he a he heads up in the comments. Interestingly, Chris, it gives us another minute to talk about the driver. Where's yep. the weight port? Because this is one of Ping's first ever fully adjustable drivers. I've seen that's in the back, so that's a high MOI, non-draw, non-fade bias. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I haven't changed it. I haven't tried. I mean, when I used it so far, it's actually been going straight, which is famous last year. Yeah, word, and it's the low so. spin model anyway, so you can't actually shift any more weight forward than it has, can you? No, exactly. So, uh, so far, so good. So let's see when Keith's gone. He's not in a rush, is Keith? Oh, how good's that? <laughs> that was good, actually. I'm s pleasantly surprised. So what we're myself. learning here is that everyone should have a Ping G425 oh, LS Tech in the bag. Fair way found. So you did a couple of things there, which I'm interested to ask you about, and I'll ask you once we get on the buggy right. and drive up, hopefully, the fairway. Fingers crossed. Down the left side of the fairway, but it should Sit. hang on. Ah, oh, we're fine. We're fine. That'll do. So for people who don't know Chris, Chris is a short game and putting specialist. So driving isn't usually what we talk about with you, Chris, but I noticed a few things there that you did. One of them being, you grip down on the club a little bit. Is that anything that people can learn from? Yeah, grip down for a little bit more control. It was the first swing of the day. To be honest, I'd like to say we'd warmed up, but we had a coffee, a latte, it was lovely. We did have a coffee, yeah, that is very true. And um, so, yeah, grip down for a little bit more confidence on the first one. And again, in the wind, it might give us a bit more control. Hmm, teed it low out of interest as well, which is. Yep, the wind is off the left, and my bad shot would normally be to lose it to the right. So, I just wanted to get it nice and low, out of the wind, no spin. And on this occasion, it works. Wonderful. Talking a great game. Well, mine took a horrendous bounce. Yeah, it did, to what be honest. I thought here? it was just in the rough. Oh, eight. Chippy eight. Chippy eight, yeah. We've got around about 115 to the breeze. So, interestingly, you did some caddying on tour as well, Chris. Yeah. Did that affect what clubs you use? Um, to be honest, yeah, it opened my eyes to uh, using more forgiving irons, which I'll, we'll get to. But um, a lot of people think that tour pros all have blades, they all have the hardest to hit clubs. But in a lot of cases, they're working backwards to more forgiving. And your average golfer's working to try and get the miss hits money, isn't it? Exactly. The nice eight time. This should move right to left in the air. Keep coming. Struck that wonderful. Yeah, it was a good strike Keep out of right, that. Still gaming the cheapos, Chris. The bargain irons. Yeah. Six hundred. Still a big fan of these. People think I'm being paid to use them, but I'm honestly not. No. I'd know that should tell me. I would tell you, yeah. <laughs> and you, you'd probably worm your way in as well. <laughs> yeah, true. I'd have another new set of golf clubs <laughs> if it was in the garage. You can see my ball there, pin high, just on the right-hand side fringe. Chris, I want to talk to you about the golf ball, because I honestly think that you usually use whatever you find, 
but the triple track Jim we are in the bag for you yeah I have used the triple tracks just again for putting um, I use Pro V's when I've got them but yeah triple track is good for alignment off the tee I also use it you know especially now while it's placing it's placing yeah I got the email last night oh wonderful so clean and place but again for for people especially amateurs to start to practice where you're aiming through the winter is going to help you and it is winter conditions now would it help if you actually aimed that at the target instead of the left hand side of the green <laughs> that is it That's, oh is it i'll it's let you off then. at the right side james has got worse eyes than me which takes some doing what club have we got so nine iron p790 70 70 correct That's going exactly where the ball was hitting. <laughs> oh! A great divot, but a bit of a Tina Turner. So, we spoke about the irons, Chris, and we spoke about... Because one of the most successful videos we've ever done... Yep. ...was playing with these and talking about them. Yeah. Just a little bit more forgiveness. Yep, exactly. And most of the tour players, again, uh, the main guy that I was working with, he went from, I think he went from the Ping Eye Blades and ended up going back to the two tens. And I know people like Tyrrell Hatton did the same. They went to something more forgiving. This is more forgiving, although there it still hit me into the bunker, but that's more me. That was more the lie, actually, I think. I don't think you're Myself, for I'll get the divot because Mr. Jones will kill me. So and I'll, also half set it. for a number of reasons, but also I've actually gone to that. I'm going to do a video about this because using a half set does make you learn how to play shots a bit differently. Correct, yeah, it gets you thinking about the shot, not just picking one, hitting it as hard as possible. Divi went a long way anyway. I know, I struck that well. Right, Chris, found the bunker. Yeah. We'll talk wedges, and the wedges, is it what I think? It's not, is it? The wedges used to hold a special place in both our hearts. Yeah. But you've recently changed them. Being a short game coach, I guess you use your wedges a lot. Yeah, so, so I've changed to the new jaws, the full toe. Yep. So big fan again of the raw finish. I like the look of them down there. There's no glare. The problem I had with the Vogue is, and it's not rare, rare, it's rarely sunny in the UK, but I was too much glare off the face. So Shooting gone to black these. like me. Blackout. Well, that's true. Gone to these. Again, the grooves to the toe is something that I prefer. Again, teaching short game, we're going to guarantee even if you catch it on the toe, there's a little bit more grab. I just can't believe that a man's gone and had dinner with Bob Vogue in a romantic dinner and then ditched him some Callaway Jaws wedges. To be fair, Bob ate all the dinner. He did, yeah. I had the dessert. <laughs> oh, oh, that was delightful. So guys, I said to you earlier, stay tuned because there's some things in this bag that you've never seen before. And I think maybe only Chris has. We're going to discuss it on the next green and it's something which is not even a club but it's something that helps his game, helps my game, and could even help your game. That was very leading, wasn't it? It was very leading. Right, do I put or do I chip this? Well, I just think if you was playing that medal at Woolly. I'd definitely, you know what, with this, I think I'd, I would chip it. Oh, a little bit uneven, isn't it? With the Vokey. I definitely wouldn't leave my putter in the way, though. <laughs> I did think that, but. Is it placing? It is placing, winter rules. Hmm. Yeah. It's a good chip, every chance. Ah! <laughs> Get in! See the difference of placing for James yes! Robinson. Yes! Oh. Well, good chip, I'll give you that. Zero putts. Oh, you have to know that was a 56 degree. Oh, that's right. And why... a 60 wouldn't have made it, would it? That's why it ran out. We're learning. Do we talk putter on this green, Chris, or do we wait till it matters? Well, they can assess, they can have a guess. What putter is it? I've covered the logo. Yeah, it might not be that easy from here to guess. Guys, get in the comments, what putters are you using? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just delightful. It's regulation stuff. You don't become a short game and putting expert missing them, do you? No, what an up and down. <laughs> easy. Right, par five coming up, one up to Robinson. I can tell you're a bit shook. I forgot we was playing a match, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't even realise we were, but I'll take it that we are. One up. Right, par five second. Yeah. Driver again. So now will you go full length of the grip, tee up a bit higher and let the shoulders go, or...? Oof. If I can. You might injure yourself. I'm going to say. Keith's in the way again. That might be the common theme of this video. 
Keith. Are green keepers in your way? Good old Keith. Right then, up the grip now, teed a bit higher. So interesting that you're using this method off the tee as well, Chris. Do you line up with your turbulators or? Straight through the old turbulators. But again, just allows me to feel that I'm square because the tees aren't always pointing where we think. That's another beauty. Is that at Keith? Hopefully, might knock some sense into Keith. That was wonderful again. Fairway. Working that well. Two for two. I'm going to try and get this past you, Chris. I'm using this at the moment, the Titleist TSI 4. Primarily because I did a video on it last week and I forgot to take it out of the bag. Four? I didn't know there was a four. It's the ultra low spin version. Oh. Sounded good. Just Sit up the right. right side. Prefer that than left, though. Yeah, that's fine. Be a long way in, but that's fine. Right, par five. Maybe talk about this uh, fairway wood, Chris. Yeah, I think we'll be going for it today in these conditions. I don't think we've got much run. No. Nope. Right, not a lot of run on these two drives, as Chris has just said, especially mine. I've now found the right hand rough as opposed to the left hand rough. And Chris is yet again in the fairway. That's a wonderful drive, Chris. Centre strike. So I'm going to have a go at this with, I think, is three wood just about the right club? It is, yeah, in this wind. I'm noticing your bag, Chris. There isn't currently anything between your three wood and your four iron or your five iron. Five iron. Now, is that because you can't find one yet or is it because you feel like something... Yeah, I've not really found anything. I, need, I really need something that's a three iron that launches a bit better. A two iron goes too far, it's probably still too close to a three wood. Yeah. And if I'm hitting into a green like this, I don't feel like a two iron I can get to land softly. So. Yeah, maybe today, but that's because it's winter now, isn't so it? So maybe... Like I use this, and I must admit, in winter it is uh, rather redundant. Yeah. So, uh, three wood. Three wood. Right. Big high fade, battle against the lie. Hold it into the wind. It's holding on the wind. I dare say that had some mud on it. A little bit of mud, it dipped out, didn't it? Strange ball fly that, wasn't it? Ex extremely strange, but it's front left of the green or just short, so. I honestly thought that was gonna fade back. It must have been a mud ball. Mud ball! Why do I get a mud ball, Chris, there? Because you've hit it into the rough. Yeah. But yours got yours got a passenger as well, I can see. Mine has got, oh, it has. A bit of a spring clean. A clean. So talk us through this bad boy. I think it's in keeping with the driver that you've already seen. Yep. So again, I've not had a three wood for, well, a different three wood for a long time, but little bit of low spin it is set on minus so it is a strong three wood very strong four it's like 13 degrees isn't it 13 degrees but again i can open this up i can grip down and play different shots with it i'm more comfortable with that than i am with a two iron would you recommend people matching the driver to the three wood we're both matching today i wouldn't do normally but i would if you can see some consistency with them both you know how they're going to sound how they're going to come off the face and it gives you something you're not saying, oh, is it, is it my three wood? Fair enough. So, a little grip down. Oh, how good is that? That was the Garcia follow through again. I don't know why I've done that. Oh, oh, that's delightful. Could be beautiful. Oh, that's delightful. Could be beautiful. Clean her up. <laughs> oh, fuck it, there. You can tell it's winter. <laughs> yeah, winter's well and truly here. You need your white towel on that. I know, that's what I don't really. Well, she's off Barry. Top geezer. Right, I've done well to stay in bounds here, and Chris is going to be happy with me because I'm actually going to chip with my gap wedge 50 degree. Oh, um, I don't know where to put the camera here. Ooh. Oh, look at this for a position with the camera. I don't know if shot trace will work, but oh, we'll give it a go. Mm. Oh, be good. <laughs> what a baller. You know when I've started doing what he tells me to do? I'm actually playing quite well. Ooh. I've got anything on my hat. 
a little white hat on and I'll, I'll hit the tree with it. The amount of times in videos that Chris misses that bunker and misses that bunker and finishes there is beyond belief. Did you enjoy that one? Course management. I didn't really enjoy that one now. 50 degree though, so I've been listening to oh, you. Oh, well, I'll give you that then, see? I could go in. Oh, uh, there's always one, isn't there? That'll do. So what wedge setup have we got? Was that the same one that you used? So you're 60 in the bunker, to yep. get nice and landing soft, and then 56 there just to fly it a little bit further and get a little bit more run out. And you are really enjoying these as well, aren't you? I'm really enjoying them, yeah. I only need now a 52, so I'm going to speak to my guy who sorts the clubs out. So when you're ready, I'll have a 52. Well, we're testing these Mizunos today, so oh, it's the wow. one. What's this one here? They are 50. Oh. No good. Well, I've got a 50, I've got my Vokey still, so Bob's not Ah, got... so they were them. Let's get them on for people to see. Bob. These were... Bob, if you're watching, not that you will be. So Chris's first shot in front of Bob Vokey, I've still got it on my hard drive, so I'll put it on. It was a Nelly knee drive, and then it was very uh, comforting to you, weren't it? <laughs> yes, he was, yeah. Well, I thinned it over the back of the green, he did shout, spin, spin, spin. <laughs> God, it's a lot closer than what I thought it was. Ugh, how dare you? How mm. dare you? Right, should we talk putter? Yeah. So, if we've managed to guess, it is a bronze vintage ping answer. Two. The answer two. You had to turn that over to know what it was, didn't you? Well, I knew it was an answer. I didn't know if it was one or two. But and it's got some lovely wear marks on it. So is that Mr. Wilson's from the Berkshire? It, it was. Jilson, even. I made him buy it, and then I've borrowed it. So continues the trend. Uh, the trend. The trend. The thread or trend. The, the trend of the rest of the clubs. They're all borrowed. Right. So this is for birdie birdie start for me. Then we're going to talk about these special things you've got in the bag. Yep. Certainly. Right. Is mine good? Uh, yeah, go on. You go and sort your bag out. Give me birdie. What's this coming to? Ah. Oh, that moved oh. a long way. Which That's leads me into well. It's yeah, you see, I missed this on purpose. So, guys, this is the thing that I told you to keep watching for. Now you're going to want to keep watching because we're level going down the last hole. But correct, I don't know anyone that keeps these in the bag all the time. Do you want to explain what this is, Chris, and why? Error. Yep. So this is a digital spirit level. So me and James ourselves both teach aim point. So James didn't aim point it there, and conveniently he did miss. Yeah. She's going to say it's on purpose, but it's debatable. No, I just didn't give enough break. So. Again, one of the things I get a lot of players to do is, is get one of these offline, and when you're out practicing is, if James's ball was here, it was roughly there, wasn't it? I feel like it was closer, but we'll go with okay, that. Okay, we'll give you closer. <laughs> right, when he comes in and does his aim point, he's, he's check what number and what, what he's feeling, okay? And then with this, he can check if his feel is correct. So what he's doing there is he's calibrating himself, and then he can know if his green reading's good, or if his green reading is bad. So whilst you're out on the golf course, even in the winter, you can be checking how you're green reading so next year we can hit the ground running. You can't use this in competition, obviously. No. Nope. But it's something maybe to bring out when you're in your practice rounds or when you're playing, just to kind of get, you could even map your greens. I mean, you never would do, but. Yeah, I mean, it's something you might do. You might, when you do your warm up on the putting green, depending on how much of a serious golfer you are, you might do it in your warm up. So a lot of tour players will practice on the putting green just before they go out, they'll pick some putts check the green reading because after all if you're playing for money you're playing for the medal you're playing for the gold medal finals that put could be the difference between winning or losing or in james's case going all square so what was that by the way so that was a four percent slope four so that would be would be giving that quite a lot of break you're probably closer to out here you'd be there my little finger Perfect, and that would give you a lot of breaks. So over such a short putt, maybe four foot, you might not think that putt breaks as much. And that's why looking into potentially Jesus, some main that, point green reading. I can't could, believe that's just gone in. <laughs> could help you out. <laughs> oh dear. Right, if anyone's interested in learning that, we might do some clinics over the winter, Chris. Also quickly, one other important thing that I always have in a bag is a sandwich. Oh, 
Which one what we got? We've got a ham sandwich here. Made, oh. picked it up from the deli this morning. Are we sharing? Top quality wrapping. Bit of cheese on there, or is that breaded ham? Oh, breaded it's ham. Beautiful. Oh, wonderful. Three wood off the tea for safety. Three wood off the tea. I'm gonna go the same. Right. Three wood. Low spin. She'll be able to get this lined it up again with the triple tracks. Lined it up. Bit of back in the stance. Wonderful again. Boring. Penetrating ball flight from the ping G425 LS10. I'm going to nick your tea peg there. Oh. I'm going to try and do a similar one. You like a bit of a stinger into a this bit of a wind. Stinger. Nudge it back a ball position. Oh. How good was that? I tell you what, if, that, well, if that's on the camera, that's Did you enjoy that? Delightful. That went below the tee there, didn't it? The low riser. Ah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever hit one that sounded like that. No, that was different. That was up there. I'll give you that. I'd say you've got 160 players. Try and play a Stinger wind. 6. Stinger 6. Wind's a little bit into a nice Stinger. Oh, he's played one. Sit soft. Oh, too good. Tell you what, just a masterclass. No, Keith's not happy with you. No, Keith's not happy. He's cutting the semi rough and I've hit it. Well, in fairness, it is the first fairway you've missed. Into the semi. Oh, is it placing in semi? No. Nope. Right, no placing. Playing for a beer? Playing for a beverito. Oh, sit. Oh, a little bit long again. We've been caught out by the wind there, I think. We have. I think it's a put off. I'll let you walk. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> well, we've not left ourselves very nice puts. Now, a lot longer than we thought, but it's a tricky pin with that sea breeze at waterfront. Thought you'd get your uh, percentage scope out. Well, I want to give you a chance if we're playing for a beer. I don't want you whinging. Very good putt. Please with that. Very good putt. That's inside tour average, isn't it? I'll give you that one. One yeah. under for the video, we'll take that. It's for the match. He's been known to hold these as well. Oh, he's left it short as well. I'm going to give you that for the half, Chris. He well was done. banging the middle. It was it banging is. the middle. So, guys, there you go. There are a couple of things that are inside a PGA professional European Tour short game coach's bag. Some things which will help you, yep. some things which will help me. In fact, a lot of things that should help me. But you'll see there as well forgiving stuff, stuff that you've learned by by spending time with the best players in Europe. In Europa. Europe. Guys, thank you for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Go check out Chris's channel. We'll have to have a rematch now, won't we? We will. Bye.